Do you need a portable launch monitor? That's the question we're gonna try and answer in this video, so make sure you watch to the end. We are seeing an emergence of more affordable launch monitor options coming in around that 500 to 550 pounds or dollars category, depending on what your currency is. And the example that we're gonna test in this video is the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor, comes in at 550 pounds approximately. And we're gonna test it up against the Foresight Sports GC2. Worth pointing out that the GC2 launch monitor has since been replaced by the GC3 model, but still represented a premium launch monitor at the time of filming, costing around about £7,000. Let's get it get set up, see how it compares, see how it performs, and whether you need one in your game. Okay, so we're all set up here on the range. We've got the Rapsodo personal launch monitor positioned just six feet behind the ball where you're hitting from. Really easy to set up, just uh, set up an account with Rapsodo app, go through the process, make sure you're aligned correctly. We've got a flag down there at 158 yards, that white one on the left, which is about where I'd hit a 7-9. So we're going to hit some shots, see exactly how the numbers compare and see exactly what the Rapsodo launch monitor will offer you. So hopefully we can hit one relatively close to that pin and compare the numbers between the two launch monitors. Okay, it's just left of the pin. Now, I would say that, that pitched a, a two to three yards short. Sure enough, the Foresight GC2 is saying it carried 153, so shorter from where that pin is. Rapsodo is saying 170 yards. That is a long way off. Let's hit another one to see if it was just an anomaly, but instantly, you know, that is a big discrepancy in the data there. So let's hit one more. Again, not the best strike, gone a bit left. Pitch pretty much pin high, I'd say. Yeah, 156 yards from the GC2, 157 yards from the Rapsodo launch monitor. So very similar, and Rapsodo, what's great about this is it will tell you the data as you hit it. So it gives you ball speed, it gives you carry distance. So ball speed, 113 on here, 112 on the GC2. Launch angle, 14.6, 15.6 on here. Obviously, we don't really know which is right, but they're pretty close pretty accurate. Let's hit one more. Maybe that first shot was a bit of an anomaly. I think what you'll probably find with personal mobile launch monitors like this, you'll get the occasional dodgy reading, but generally speaking, the data is pretty good, but potentially you get a bit more consistency from um, a launch monitor that's a bit more expensive like the Foresight GC2. Okay, that's a really good shot. It's right at the pin. Might even hit the pin. Oh, that looked like it carried about a yard or two short. Carry 155 on the GC2, 155 on the Rapsodo. 113 ball speed, 113 ball speed. Launch 18.1 on the GC2 to 17.6. So, yeah, those last few shots were very, very similar. We're gonna hit some drivers now, maybe some wedge shots. Compare a few more shots, see what the Rapsodo offers you, and then we'll see how they compare and give you a verdict to the end. One thing I like about the Rapsodo is that it gives you a video playback of your swing with a little shot tracer. And obviously, like once you finish a session, you, you, all your different sessions are listed here on the app. You can just click your shots and you can see all the different shots you hit. It plots them on a nice map so you can see where they carried, where they finished left or right. And actually, you know, dispersion seemed to be pretty accurate. They kind of matched up with where I was hitting it, left or right of that pin, seemed to be reflected in this little dispersion graph here. So yeah, I'm really impressed with the kind of dashboard that you get with the Rapsodo. It gives you a clear information as to how far you're hitting it, what your ball speeds are, it even gives you your club speed as well, which GC2 on its own doesn't do. Obviously, if you partner it with HMT or you get a GC quad, you will get your club data, but you do have to put a sticker on the club, which can be a little bit annoying for some people. How accurate it is, who knows, but it does give you an indication of how fast you're swinging it. And obviously you get your smash factor as well based on how far you, how hard you're swinging it and then the ball speed as well. One thing that is a shame about the Rapsodo is that it doesn't give you your spin numbers. So obviously the GC2 will give you your spin numbers. I think spin is actually quite an important parameter that will have a big impact on how far you're hitting your shots. So it's a shame we don't have those spin numbers here, but if you're looking for something that's gonna give you feedback on your distances, maybe your club head speed, if you're trying to swing it faster, the Rapsodo gives you a clear indication of what you're doing.
Right, so how did the uh, Rapsodo mobile launch monitor compare to the Foresight Sports GT2? I'll flash up the data, you can see here, I hit three shots with a gap wedge, a seven iron and a driver. And you'll see from the numbers how there were a lot of shots that were pretty much exactly the same in terms of that ball speed and carry distance. But with the Rapsodo, there were a couple of very questionable readings, some really big numbers that were clearly incorrect. I think as long as you know to filter that out of your data, if you know to delete those shots, but with the GC2 it was much more consistent. You know, I hit basically pretty good shots with all those clubs and the readings were very consistent. Whereas the Rapsodo, while it was comparable on a lot of them, there were a couple that really stood out as anomalies. So you probably get a bit more inconsistency with the Rapsodo, but there is a, an awful lot to like about what this device offers. I love the video playback feature. I love the shot tracer feature as well. I love how easy to, it to use. It comes with its own portable carry case that you can clip onto your bag. So it's really light, easy to carry around with you. If you want to just have a quick session with it, you can take it with you wherever you're going. And I think you really just need to think about what you are trying to get from having a launch monitor. If it's to give you really simple feedback on carry distances, if you're working on yardages, I do think generally speaking, this is providing pretty accurate numbers, but compared to what you know, the shots we were hitting there, I would say the Foresight GC2 was a little bit more accurate. There were shots that were finishing just short of that 158 yard pin, and the GC2 was reflecting that a little bit more accurately, more consistency in the Rapsodo. That said, there were a lot of shots where the numbers were very similar and almost identical, and you do get pretty much enough information to give you some really useful feedback. As you can see, premium launch monitors like the GC2 do give you a lot more detail and data points. So along with ball speed, you get your side angle, vertical launch angle, spin, side spin, and carry distance. Whereas the Rapsodo just gives you your club speed, your ball speed, your smash factor, your carry distance, and your launch angle. So it's a little bit limited in what it offers, but if you're after basic feedback, it definitely delivers that. There's a lot to like about this Rapsodo launch monitor, and I think there is really good value for money to be had here. Hopefully, that gives you a good idea as to whether you need a personal launch monitor, whether you think it's worth the money. For 500 pounds, I think there's definitely value to be had. Comment down below, have you got a mobile launch monitor like this Rapsodo, maybe the Garmin R10, there's some other options out there. Let us know, I'd love to hear what you think about it, how you think it compares to premium launch monitors. Rapsodo say this is within 2% of what TrackMan offer, and I've got to say, from the, the comparison of the data here with the GC2, I think the numbers aren't far off. So that's all from me from West Hill Golf Club. I'll see you next time.